Okay, this is N2LEM with another follow-up video with the MMDVM homebrew repeater, which is the Motorola R1225. The test radio is the MD380, and uh, we're going to be showing you and demonstrating another image that was provided to me by my friend uh, Phil W7RSS in Utah. And as you can see, once again, uh, we are using the MMDVM ZUM Arduino Dewey. Uh, from Bruce and the Raspberry Pi 2 uh, with the uh, so which is being used as the digital voice modem for DMR for Brandmeister let me go ahead and uh, show you the actual screen now this particular image was um, actually downloaded uh, off the DMR Utah uh, website and we'll provide the link and this particular um, image is actually set up for the originally for the DV Mega, and we just reconfigured it to use with the for uh, with the MMDVM with the homebrew repeater with the Zum Dewey. This is uh, this whole package runs as a system service, which includes the uh, MMDVM host software. We'll go over here right now. We're actually up and running, and we're connected to. Uh, Brandmeister, that were logged in but let me show you uh, quickly we'll come over here to the applications menu when you actually start up the um, the software and uh, insert the image into the SD card and you boot the Pi this is the screen that you get uh, when you actually boot it there is a login screen they provide you with a, a default um, username and password and once you get in this is the actual desktop screen uh, when you come in from the applications me menu, you actually can see, um, you select here, and then it pulls down a whole bunch of actual selections here. And what we're going to go is we're going to just actually choose the ham radio subfolder. And you can see in here there's a bunch of stuff. There's the Arduino IDA, and then you can come in here and you could actually set, off, set up your... MMDVA dot, uh, MMDVM dot INI config file. It has the calibration. And then it has the background service to run the actual console. Uh, and you could stop it and you could start it. Uh, you could also start up the host and you could stop it. And then all these, the MMDVM host actually is already set up as part of the image as a system service. Now we'll come in, we're going to click uh, edit mmdvm.ini, which will bring up the IMI file right in the center. And as you can see, we'll get a close-up view of it. These are the actual, and I'll enlarge this. You can come over here in the corner and you could see the settings. Right over here in the top corner, you could see the call sign. And these are the actual settings uh, for my repeater frequency, the latitude and longitude, power output of 30 watts, uh, the location, Catskill, New York, uh, my URL for my website. And for the R1225 repeater, you want to concentrate on the modem part of the applet. And these are the settings. You want to be in slash dev dot slash tty a ACM0 is the proper port settings for the modem for the MMDVM. TX delay of 100, DMR delay of 7, the RX level uh, we had fine tuned to 67, TX level at 46. And if you take a look at the invert and RX invert, they're both set for 0 with the Motorola R1225. We'll just uh, scroll down. You can see there's other settings here for System Fusion um, that are in here for D-Star. Um, so you could actually uh, add, if you were to install D-Star Repeater and IRC, D uh, IRC DDB Gateway software on this, you could probably also just set up and configure D-Star. This is standalone running MMDVM. It's a basic, this particular uh, image was provided by Chris. I can't remember his call sign offhand, but uh, it's basically a bare bones MMDVM uh, image. Uh, we've been testing it for about two days now, and it has been running flawlessly. Now, if we come in here, we pull down, we actually want to see the MMDVM host. We come back into Ham Radio. 
we select MMDVM host background service console you just click that and up comes the terminal and as you could see all the way down at the bottom it's showing you the actual uh, the uh, slot one received network and a voice transmission uh, it's the standard MMDVM host we're gonna go ahead and key up real quick with the uh, the MD 380 and uh, we're going to key up on 3100 and when I key up you could see actually the the uh, we'll show you the terminal on the screen what it does so here we go this is N2 LEN for a quick radio check let's see if anybody's out there listening Okay, there's nobody out there right now on 3100. Okay, here we go. Nope, oh, we had someone who keyed up. N2LEN, N2LEN from 4X1 Delta Alpha, reaching your television. Loud and clear. Okay, we're going to go ahead and keep going. Okay, Okay, good evening, Rich, out in Tel Aviv. The name is Len. We're over here in Catskill, New York. We're just actually trying out a new image running the MMDVM. Uh, image from uh, DMR Utah and we're running that on a Motorola R1225 homebrew repeater. Uh, just wanted to get in there for a quick radio check. We appreciate it and thanks for picking me up. Back over to you for a quick final and we'll say seven threes. Now you could just watch over here on the terminal and you can actually see it working. Very good. Congratulations on the new setup of the MMDV. I'm sounding great. And um no packet loss, good audio quality, excellent copy. 7-3, my friend, have a very good morning, 4X, 1 you. Forex 1DA from N2LEN. Thanks so much. Have a great evening. N2LEN clear. Okay, so that's basically it. And that's how the actual software runs. It's a fantastic image. Bare bones inches does not take really any um, any resources and uh, we'll just pull back and you could actually hear it running in the background this is n2 len best 73 